What's up everybody, Michael Linares here from SimpleNursing.com and I got some pretty exciting news today. Huge update on my MSN progress, but first, as you guys know, I'm a sponsored FlexPath student here at Capella University. Finally, after all the courses, my entire master's thesis of 30-something pages and 55 papers or assessments or assignments, and then the 100-hour practicum it's all complete. Yeah, let's get it started. So today we're going to be talking about a little bit of a recap of what I've learned in my research and planning. So really the results is I'm an official APA master. I got skills for days, all day. So really the method I used to plan the 100 hour practicum was to choose a professor that's working the profession that I wanted to be in. There's so much that goes on behind the scenes that really enlightened me. So I think the best thing that I can advise anyone going into a practicum or shadowing someone is really just spark your curiosity because curiosity is the best work ethic. So right off the bat, the highlight of the 100 hour practicum was the students. I love being in the classroom setting. I love the vibes that I you know, give and receive from the students. Um, one of the biggest things that I missed from teaching was, because I don't know if you guys knew, but I used to be an EKG instructor, and I haven't done that for seven years in the classroom setting. And one of the biggest things I miss is just seeing students like the light bulb turning off. And so that was awesome just to be able to experience that again. Um, the second highlight was the faculty meetings. Now, I know to you guys it probably sounds boring. But I really do want to change the way that nursing school and the way we deliver medical education. So being able to go into the faculty setting or their meetings, it was kind of like taking an anatomy course on how faculty works. All right, guys, that wraps it up. As you guys know, I'm a sponsored FlexPath student here at Capella University. Thank you so much for watching and supporting me all the way through this master's degree um, journey here. If you guys have any questions about Capella or a master's in education or really anything related to nursing, please leave the comments below. See you guys in the next video.